girl hey so i was starting my college advice series really exciting because i think it's fun to talk about college and all that stuff because i love it and um i know a lot of people that watch my videos are going off to college in the fall or will be going off to college at some point in their lives so i hope this is useful and helpful and i was trying to think about a good way to like kick it off and what videos to start with and how to get into it but I think the best way to do it is just ask you guys questions about things you're most interested in hearing about and I'm just going to answer general questions in this video and then I'm going to do more specific videos on specific topics like what you need to bring to your dorm or, or advice for sorority recruitment if you're into that or how to make friends and all this stuff. There's a bunch of different stuff um, but I'm probably going to just keep it a short series that I'll do sporadically throughout the summer. So I'm starting off with a Q&A and let's get into it. You have to eat ramen noodles a lot. Actually, no, um, I didn't eat ramen noodles once. And it's funny because I've never had ramen noodles, which everyone else is like, what? Um, it's just like a stereotype that in college you eat a lot of ramen noodles because you don't want to cook. Um, and you don't want to go into like the cafeteria and stuff, which um, we would eat out decently a lot, but we, yeah, we didn't make ramen noodles. My roommate early on in the year was in a public speaking class and she had a speech about how horrible ramen noodles are for you and she read it to me probably 10 times. So now it's ingrained in my brain that I'm never eating ramen noodles because things she described were disgusting. Look it up. How do you make friends in college? I'm definitely going to do a whole video focused on this, but just to be general, I think the best way to make friends in college is to reach out and be um, outgoing and reach outside your comfort zone to different people that you might not think you would be good friends with initially because those are the kind of the friendships that you're going to cherish the most and I just say in the beginning just honestly like let yourself you know be out there and be someone you didn't think you were because you could meet some of the most amazing people that you might have just like walked past without looking at that before, you know, if that makes sense. So don't, I guess what I'm saying is don't give up any opportunity to make a new friend. The next question is how are dorms? And honestly, everyone's dorm is gonna be different so I can't speak for all of them, but I absolutely loved my dorm and I, there was never a time in the year where I was like sitting there and I was thinking, wow, it really sucks that I live in like this tiny room with another person. Um, because like, I don't know, I thought it would be hard to adjust to it moving from, you know, kind of a decently spaced room where I would get to live on my own and do my own stuff. But it really was not that hard of an adjustment for me and I think it just depends on your situation. But living in the dorm is honestly what you make of it. So if you think it's gonna be bad and you think you're gonna have a hard time with space and sharing with other people and stuff, then you probably will. But if you go into it with an open mind and think about all the opportunities you have, then you'll have a good experience, which I did. So I think dorms are really what you make of them. Is it better than high school? I definitely, definitely think college was better than high school. Obviously, that's it's just my experience. So not everyone's going to have the same experience. Um, some people are high school people, some people are college people, some people are not school people at all, but I, for one, definitely enjoy college a lot more. Um, there's just like, it's so nice to be out on your own, and college isn't just classes is the thing. It's high school is mostly just classes, you know, clubs, sports, a little few things on the side, but college is really just like a life experience of you, you know, with other people and interacting with professors on a like professional level and kind of getting a taste of living on your own and everything like that. So. I think the thing about college is that it's not just an academic learning experience, it's just so much of your life where you really grow as a person is in college if you decide to go. Yes, I would say that it is better than high school. This question is how do you manage all your classes? And this was definitely something I was worried about and something that I had a hard time with in the beginning. Um, my first semester I only took four classes, which typically it's about five that people take every semester. And I just wanted to be able to fully adjust and get used to taking college classes in the beginning, which I think is a good idea. Um, a lot of, I know a lot of people just did that and it just works better for them. But um, if you think you can take on five, go for it. But um, I took five next semester and it was final. So. so Really, I think just managing all your classes is more important than ever to be organized and if you could get away with just throwing your papers somewhere in high school and not really keeping track of due dates as much as you needed to, that's cool, but it's not really going to make things easy for you in college and it really is something that you just need to work on is to get, do well in classes, you have to make sure you have everything in order. I would always have lists and I would have due dates on my calendar that was on my wall and on my calendar in my planner and I just always know what was coming up and what I had to be working on and be looking forward to doing next. 
So I think that's just really important is being on top of it and like keeping track of things, being organized. Any special study methods to help with the 4.0? Did you prefer libraries, coffee shops, or dorm to study? I definitely think that organization helped me with the 4.0 and I just studied more than ever, honestly. Everyone has their different study methods. Personally, I love coffee shops. I could study in Starbucks all day and be fine or just like a local coffee shop or something, or even on campus, like a little coffee place. I just love studying there. Um, I just love the vibe. I love the smell of coffee, honestly. And if you're falling asleep, you can just get some coffee. So that's cool. Um, I didn't actually study the library that much. Some people, library is their place. Some people, dorm is their place. I studied a little bit in the dorm, but like honestly, coffee shops were it for me. And I think that's important too, is that you need to find your groove of studying and where you do best because once you find that out and get into the rhythm of like studying there get into kind of a routine you do once you actually get there sit yourself down and put yourself you don't put your brain in that mode when you're in a place that you designate for studying you have a designated place then your body will be like oh okay like we're here it's time to study and it's time to focus so i think it's good to set aside like a specific place just for studying how long were you homesick for i actually don't think i was ever really homesick um which I guess that's kind of abnormal because most people get some sort of homesick at least once throughout the year. Um, that's just not me though and I was just too caught up in being in a new place and being surrounded by all this stuff going on that I didn't really feel homesick. I mean I love my family, it was really hard for me to leave them, um, which I don't know it's weird like comparing me to other people. Um, a lot of my friends, you know, they left their families like, okay, bye, like leave, I see you later. But I cried so much when my parents left. I was like trying not to cry when I picked them up to take them to the airport and then I just lost it. And it was just like such a hard thing for me to let go of them. But then after they were gone, I was never homesick. So I don't know, it's definitely, it's definitely weird. Some people who had no problem with their parents leaving would get really homesick later. So it all just hits people differently. Are sororities like they show in the movies? Um, like I said, I'm gonna do a whole video about Greek life and getting involved in sororities. But um, just for now, I'm gonna say it's definitely not like the movies at all. Um, I mean, some aspects are like the cheesy sisterhood stuff that you're like, what am I doing here? Um, but you'll actually end up loving and I mean, it's just like certain things, but my school in particular did not have houses for sororities, so I mean, I can't speak to that because most schools do, so it might be even different there. Um, but honestly, I, one thing sororities taught me while I was in college this year is that really stereotypes are not going to do you any good because so many of them just aren't true, and it's just like, it's such a different experience in real life. Um, it's such a fulfilling experience though, I loved every minute of it, but Honestly, I'd say just go into it with an open mind and if you go to college thinking everyone in Greek life is just like full of themselves and like not serious about college or anything like that, then you know, it's you're not gonna like enjoy, you're not gonna like see the good in it because all you're gonna see is the stereotype that's blurring your vision. But if you go into it with an open mind and find the people that are really genuine and a lot of the pe more people than you expect will be like people that you'll want to surround yourself with then that's when you're going to find it as a good experience so just like get rid of all the stereotypes that have built up in your mind and then you will see greek life for what an amazing organization it really is the last question i'm going to answer is what were the parties like which um i know when a lot of people think of college they think of parties because of like movies and all the stereotypes that i talked about but um Honestly, the parties were not like college parties and movies for me, at least. I mean, I go to a relatively small school, so it's gonna be different than like a huge state school with like big frats that like are all about parties. I wasn't like the biggest partier, but I think it was fun just to go sometimes. And it was like a good place to like, meet like fun people um, and just like, you know, hang out. Um, parties at my school were mostly like just talking and I mean, there'd be like some dancing and stuff, but it wasn't like crazy. My advice I have for going to college parties is make sure that you trust the people that you're around when you that you go with. I didn't go to parties in the beginning of the year just because like I, di I didn't know people in my like floor or anything well enough that to trust them to like go to a party with them. Um, so I think you should just make sure that you're with the right people when you go and um, just have fun really. I mean just like but be safe. Um, I don't know. This is horrible advice. I'm not good at advising people with parties. Okay, well that is it for my first video, my college advice series, my Q and A. Um, I'm definitely going to do a lot more of these, not Q and A's, but just like advice in general of specific things in college. So let me know if there's anything in particular you really want to see me do a whole video about. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.